Today I'm going to be running you guys through the Logitech MX Anywhere 3S software. And without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So when you install the Logitech Options Plus software, this is going to be the screen that you're greeted with. These are going to be your navigation keys where you can navigate between the different categories of settings you can tune. Here you can see the buttons that are customizable on the mouse. At the top right, you can have different profiles set based on which application is open. So if you have, for example, Google Chrome open, you can click confirm, continue. And now the shortcuts are going to change based on if you have Google Chrome open or your global settings and you can add as much or as little as you want. So if you'd like to update a button and what it actually does, you go ahead and click which button you want to tune and here are the recommended by Logitech shortcuts that you can do. For me personally, I want this button to open up tabs that I've closed in the past in my browser. So to make it browser specific, I'm going to go to Chrome and you can see we have this new category. It's app specific shortcuts. So what I can do is I can click on these and here are some that Logitech Tech recommends. And here's the shortcut I like, reopen close tab. So if I click this and then I go in my Google Chrome, if I go ahead and close this tab and then I'm like, oh wait, I need to open that tab again. So instead of opening a new tab and navigating back to the website, I can just go ahead and click this button. So I'll go ahead and click it then click it. And you can see that the website opened back up. That's gonna be one of my favorite shortcuts that I actually use nearly all the time in my browsers. Now, if you don't like this shortcut, you can go ahead and choose some of your own. If you don't see any specific ones you want, you can go ahead and click this keyboard shortcut button, and then you can type your own command. You can do something like Command Shift T, which is the exact shortcut as something like this, where you reopen the close tab. Now, if I go ahead and close this menu, you can see that it says reopen close tab. If I switch to my global settings, you can see now it says shift wheel mode. So that's how you know this thing is gonna work on specific apps. Now moving to the next tab here, we have point and scroll. Now these settings here are gonna be more about precision. If I go on the scroll wheel, you can see that do you want standard scrolling or inverted, kind of like how Mac computers work. Do you want scrolling force? So this is how heavy do you want your scroll wheel to be with the magnetic scroll wheel. So if I move this all the way up to 100%, this thing becomes extremely hard to scroll and it doesn't free spin at all. It just has a lot of friction. Now if I move the scrolling force down to like, I don't know, 7%. Now if I do a scroll, this thing just flies. It like I barely move it and this thing is just free spinning and that's really cool. So I would recommend maybe keeping this at 50% unless you do a specific type of work. If you scroll all the time and your finger gets tired, I would just like lower it so it's in free scroll mode more. But if you're kind of hybrid, I would just keep it at like 50%. That seems like a good number. Smooth scrolling, definitely recommend this. Anytime you scroll, it's just gonna make your pages a little smoother. And Smart Shift is a really neat feature as well. If you scroll really hard on the scroll wheel, it's gonna enter free scroll mode. But if you scroll lightly, it's just gonna be a tactile scroll. Now, now the next tab is easy switch. This is if you have multiple computers paired, you can just switch between them here. And then flow mode is gonna be similar to easy shift, except this gives you the ability to copy and paste text, images, or files between one computer to another. And then in the settings tab, you can see here, there are some buttons like swap left and right buttons. So this mouse can essentially become a lefties mouse. However, these two buttons on the side here are not gonna be on the left side. So it is gonna feel a little bit awkward Awkward, but the option is there if you do want that. Device backup allows you to create an account with Logitech and you can save these settings to your account so you don't have to set them every time. And then this is how you reset the settings to default and then you can also remove the mouse from your device. So those are all of the features that you can do with the Logitech MX Anywhere 3S mouse. If you wanna see a dedicated review video of this mouse, be sure to click the video right up here. And with that being said, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.